Good morning. This reading is for Aquarius. Oh my God, you beautiful, handsome, fucking Aquarius, man. I love you guys. <laughs> All right, this is for rising sun and moon Aquarius. Okay, guys, I'm going to start getting more into the astrology here with the divination. All right. Hey, heck yeah. Um, so today, Aquarius, I'm going to start out talking about the mythological origin of Aquarius and how that zodiac uh, constellation came about. Um, the mythological origin of it. Okay, here we go, Aquarius. Some of you may already know this, some of you may not. So I find it fascinating. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever this finds you. Hey, Brother Mill. <laughs> I love you. Uh, hey, um, Mr. Sagittarius, a lot of you. Everyone's welcome to watch this reading, guys. We all have a little Aquarius in us. It just depends on where the placements are in your astrology house. Um, but specifically, the divination reading here, of course, is probably, probably most likely, going to resonate more for sun and moon rising Um who have sun and moon rising in Aquarius. Um, that's what I'm specifically asking Spirit for uh, for the last couple days too. I've been meditating, guys. I've been reading about you, Aquarius. So let's see what comes out. This reading here will probably be about uh, 20 to 25 minutes long. So here we go. All right, Aquarius. And like I said, everyone's welcome to watch. Um, everyone can benefit from every reading that you see or I do. Everyone has different. Every reader is a little different. Okay, so the mythological origin of Aquarius constellation is an abduction of beautiful Ganymede, or Ganymede, Ganymede, the Prince of Troy. So Ganymede was so handsome. He was so beautiful, so handsome that he was kidnapped by Zeus. Zeus, you motherfucker. <laughs> So Zeus kidnapped, uh, supposedly, a prince of Troy, Ganymede. And the reason why he did that, Zeus wanted his handsomeness and his beauty to serve the gods on Olympus. So Ganymede replaced, so Zeus had Ganymede replace Hebe to serve the gods' cups of immortality and ambrosia. Wow. I haven't heard, like, thought about ambrosia in so many years is kind of meant to be. So Ganymede's parents in Troy missed him so much that Zeus made the constellation Aquarius so that when they looked up at the sky, they would remember their son. So in the Aquarius uh, divination card, guys, a lot of you will notice the original ones. There's a man... Or feminine I'm just gonna say figure there's a person pouring water out of like basically getting water out of a big body of water into a jug and then pouring that water into a cup or pouring that water jug into something else or onto the earth I think it specifically is onto the earth so Aquarius energy is very healing um, and the reason why we say healing a lot is because of the uh, origin and the, um, the mythological origin of it and the energy of Aquarius is great problem solver, uh, very enigmatic, like you can just really help people see things a little differently. Um, this healing energy, so it's, uh, it's associated with immortality. The Aquarius Zodiac sign, guys, you're associated with immortality. How crazy is that? How cool is that? So if you're, um, so just very cool, very fascinating stuff. I'm going to learn more about this, guys. I also just learned that there is a yoga move where it's, and it's brought up in the Aquarius information about immortality fascinating stuff about like kind of like a juice or like a liquid of life you could do this like 
yoga move. Fascinating stuff um, to help you with that. And that's associated with Aquarius. Also, Aquarius is associated with your savings, your money, that Aquarius energy. So this is why the star card, when it comes up, that's associated with Aquarius is a good omen. Like it's like a good omen, like for just hope. Um, if you're in kind of a, a stagnation and the star card comes out in a reading, that is hope, a good omen for hope and healing. And I feel like infinite, infinite, like uh, just immortality. So beautiful, just absolutely beautiful Aquarius. All right, now that I've talked about all this, let's get into the reading. Let's do an angel card first. Been loving that. And then um, where am I being called to to read next with divination? Mm. The Aquarius, normally I would go for the Aquarian Tarot deck. I'm being called to the Lightseer's deck. Mm -hmm. All right, let's see what comes out in the cut. Guardian Angel, an Angel of Harmony. Oh, Aquarius. You know, everything I've read about you is you're so sweet. So you are, you have a guardian angel at this time for you, Aquarius. Your guardian angels are your ancestors, Aquarius. So if you have anyone crossed over, they are really guarding you at this time. Guardian angels are looking after you. You are very highly protected. Angel of knowledge, you are so smart. You are the genius of the zodiac. You're so smart, handsome, beautiful, Aquarius. Damn. Everything about Aquarius is just like, I got to be careful the more I read about Aquarius, the more I just love Aquarius. <laughs> um, you guys, I the Aquarius that I do know are just wonderful people and very beautiful. Very, very beautiful people inside and out. So you Angel of Harmony on the cut too, so you're being extra balanced at this time. Love it. Um, there's the Angel of Good News under here, Aquarius. Hell yeah. Love that. And romance, or angel of good news and romance. I, I feel like because you are being so balanced, because you're knowledgeable, angel of divine timing. So, woohoo, I'm going to leave this out. I'm not even going to shuffle. I just love all, the, I love all these angel cards for you. Okay. Yeah, they want me to, so put this under here. So there's the angel of good news and romance for you, Aquarius. Damn, because you're being so balanced and harmonious. Because you know so much. It's divine timing. Divine timing. Wow. I'm putting this all under here, guys. <laughs> so we've got guardian angel, angel of knowledge, angel of harmony, angel of good news, angel of romance, and angel of divine timing, Aquarius. I'm keeping all those. I just, I, it was weird. I didn't feel like shuffling really. I just felt like what's on the cut. So there we go. Aquarius, I do feel like doing some lucky numbers. That's interesting, too, to see if I like this green one for you. I'm draw, called to the blue ones. Let's see if any numbers, these might res, help someone resonate for this reading. Numbers for Aquarius today. All right. First number I see is eight, four. And I see five and a nine, but a nine is on the top. Four, eight, nine, nine, eight, four. Take it how it resonates. And I also saw a five, okay? <laughs> All right, so here we go. Eight is for abundance, Aquarius. And like I said, Aquarius, you your energy rules saving. So if anyone's worried about that, Look at your astrology plate. If you're not Aquarius, sun, moon, or rising, uh, look at your where your Aquarius placements are in your astrology chart. But this, all right, here we go. Aquarius <laughs> are water bearers, very spiritual healers. Oh, yes. You have magical powers. Two of wands. Okay. So the future is bright. You look into the future, you might not be quite sure what's going to happen, but the future is so bright for you, Aquarius. Hell yeah. All right, let me see where I'm at in time. Okay, here we go. Let's get a good reading for you. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and elders, thank you so much for this reading today. 
Being the collective are highly protected, any ill will will be returned to sender swiftly. No weapons shall form against me and the collective in any way, shape, or form. We're highly protected. Thank you so much for the messages today. So I can get a, a good reading for Aquarius. I specifically ask that this reading be for my YouTube subscribers and my Instagram followers. Anyone on Facebook or TikTok that watches me also, but specifically for people who are subscribing to me to YouTube and my Instagram, you know, that subscribe to both. Thank you so much. Aquarius, water bears. <laughs> I've also done my um, protective prayers and blessings, guys, um, before I started, okay? Anyone who's first starting to watch me. And thank you for watching, guys. Thank you, new subscribers. I love you. I love you all. I appreciate every single one of you. Thank you so much. Eight of Swords in the reverse. Yeah, okay, and then the fool. So I feel like maybe you did feel stuck about something Aquarius or stagnant, but you're coming out of that. Beautiful. I see water here traveling. Ace of Pentacles, Aquarius, damn. Okay, so yeah, see the Eight of Swords in reverse. I feel like I feel like you did feel trapped, um, bound, maybe in a way. Maybe it's with religious aspects maybe it's with where you live maybe it's with love because what's coming out a guardian angel angel of knowledge harmony angel of good news romance divine timing i feel like maybe you did feel bound aquarius in some way something about maybe love or where you live But you're coming out of that energy. Now you're this beautiful, full energy. Look how happy you are. Compared to this, this is how maybe you might feel this way about something in your life, Aquarius. But you're coming out of that. You got this beautiful, full energy. You're either coming out of it or you already did. You have this wonderful, full energy where, look, you just laid back. I feel like, why am I saying that? Laid back. <laughs> with my mind on my money and my money on my mind. <laughs> now did that come out? Interesting. Yeah, I just feel like you're laid back, enjoying life, got your crystals, got your wand. And you're like, I can just surrender because I know things are going to be good. Like God's got me, the creator, God, master creator of all. Uh, however prophets or way you want to say God, whatever deities you know you believe in. All right. Um, you also know that money comes and goes. It's not everything. So you want you you hold on to money, but you but you're like you know you can, you also want to travel. You're very good at traveling. Very good with traveling. Ace of Pentacles, upright Aquarius. But no 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 no. Yeah, blessings on your money. Um, and Ace of Pentacles, guys, always is the Ace of Pentacles is blessings for money that you need. You're going to have as much money as you need for life, okay? Your money's coming up, Aquarius. Yes, it is. I don't know what you're doing, but you're doing a great job. Maybe because you came out of this negative, bound, trapped, kind of stuck feeling energy, and you've realized, hey, I got this. I know what to do, okay? So you're coming out of that bound, trapped energy, which is beautiful, and this full energy, traveling, um, really understanding that money is not everything and that you're going to have enough money, okay, Aquarius, in your future that you'll be comfortable. Uh, seven of Swords, Aquarius, there's some sort of deceit here, okay, uh, maybe a betrayer. Seven of Cups, yeah, there's some sort of... <sighs> You're not sure what to choose, maybe? You're not sure what to choose. It's about love. There's love in the reverse here. And divine gifts in reverse. Oh, and the lovers in reverse. Wow, Aquarius. So it's about love. There's some sort of deceit here, Aquarius. Is someone deceiving you? Or is... 
This person sneaking up behind the back with a knife. What the fuck? A big knife. It's feathers everywhere and in his backpack like he has fucking killed a bird. This is a masculine figure in this card. Fuck. And you are confused about something, maybe illusions, disillusionments. Could be online, guys. Be careful online, but it could be just with people. Be careful. This is about love, in a way. Why are these all in reverse? You have the chariot upright, though. You feel put out. Aww, Aquarius. I don't know what this reading is for, but let me take a look at something. Oh, sweetie Aquarius. Whether you're masculine or feminine, I call you know, I'm calling you sweetie. <laughs> oh. What do you feel put out about? Spirits tell me to go to this. They want more, me to read more information, so I am doing it. So the Two of Cups is a positive card, right, guys, in love? I just don't like that it came out in reverse. So so it symbolizes uh, elevation and shared radiance, uh, positive direction, togetherness, love, family, harmony, strong emotion, compromise. So they're really... They're not showing a reversal, okay, like in the love card in that particular book. So you do want love and compromise in something with someone, but it looks like it's you're not it's not able to be come together. Why does it come together? Be together. Is that what this trapped? I feel like this eight of swords trapped kind of energy that's or bound energy was kind of like about I just saw you come on <laughs> there it is okay why does my nose keep itching oh, sorry guys you know that old saying like someone's talking you about you right now or thinking about you right now your nose will itch my nose just keeps itching <laughs> okay so let's take a look here Want more information yeah so this is uh i mean we could tell by the cards i mean reverse two cups reverse lover this is about love um and difficult so this is difficulty in one's love life frustration there's fear here um so basically it's problems with one's partner or spouse um for a man, like you're not having sex. For a woman, you're not maximizing your sexuality. Okay, thank you very much. That was very clear. So for a man, Aquarius, um, you're sad because you're not having sex. This I don't know who this is going to resonate for, but that's making you sad. You are in love with someone. Maybe, maybe many, because look, this is a decision needed to be made. Look, there's like seven bowls here. Snake underneath one, a bat wing pop or dragon wing popping out of another. Water coming out of another. I don't like this snake's tail. Careful, Aquarius, who you choose. There is someone around you, Aquarius, that does not have good intentions. It came out, it's not me. Be careful online. Be careful with people in person, too. Sometimes people don't have good intentions. So be careful who you're sharing things with. Don't give away too much information. You got to make a decision here. There is someone who wants to stab you in the back. A big fucking knife, Aquarius. I don't know what that's about, dude. Maybe someone's jealous of you. It could just be that. But it's about love. So I'm like... 
It feels like you have a lot of options in love, at least seven. <laughs> I'm not joking. Um, there is someone who's deceitful to you, Aquarius, that doesn't tell you the truth. And they fucking go around killing birds. That's a dark, dark fucking entity. Dark. Maybe Spirit just showed me another image. Maybe there's someone around you that's giving you bad advice that likes to kill fucking birds. I don't know how that's going to resonate or what that means to someone. Spirit keeps telling me this person has a giant fucking knife. They fucking kill birds. That's messengers for the divine. And they have this backpack of these huge lots of feathers and the feathers are flying everywhere and the birds are fucking calling their fucking face off. Trying to warn you, I think. You know what, Aquarius? Look for messages with birds, too. Birds will warn you about things. They will. Sometimes birds are just being birds, but sometimes they will warn you about things, okay? I always pay attention to birds. Always. What they're saying, what they're doing. Now, so Aquarius, that's a message for you. You're not sure who to choose. Look, there's one here where there's this spiritual, beautiful water flowing. And it's like happiness and calmness and it's beautiful. And then under these other upside down cups is not good stuff under some of them. The skull on one of them, a dragon bat wing. I th it looks like a bat wing. It looks like a bat wing coming out of one. Snake coming out of the other one. Be careful, Aquarius. What the fuck? Aquarius, you have someone around you. Spirit keeps showing me now a dark figure, and it's a masculine. It's masculine. Could be in person. Could be online. Be careful, okay? You are very protected. Just be smart. Careful who you're taking advice from and love. Okay, guys? Make sure they're a good person. You know, how is their relationship? Are they in a happy relationship? Are they in a happy marriage? Who are you taking advice from about love? I just looked at the numbers again. So whoever this resonates for, some of those numbers might mean something to you. The angel numbers. I want me to read 20, 5, 24, 14, 16, 32. Twos and fours. So you have good family relationships. You have really good relationships, Aquarius. You're really smart. You're really charming. Great job. Wow. Very handsome. Very beautiful. Spirit just keeps showing me. Very handsome. Very beautiful. Which is an Aquarius trait. Okay. So the lovers in reverse. Um, so some Aquarius, whoever this is resonating for, if you're, like I said, if you're the masculine, you may not be having sex at this time. And that's frustrating you. Um, if you're the feminine energy, divine feminine energy, you're not maximizing your sexuality, but that could be for the masculine too, guys. Um, we all have masculine and feminine in us. So the chariots here, cause something's coming in hot or you, it's the five of pentacles. It's like you feel put out all of a sudden you feel put out, you feel broke. Oh, something happened really quickly. You lost money? That could be for some Aquarius. I'm seeing in the past or maybe recently. You, yeah, you feel put out, dude. You lost something. You lost something or you left something behind. Very quickly, you lost money or you feel put out or you left something behind. Very, very quickly, Aquarius. You, you something about money. And you had to leave something. Uh, the three of pentacles in reverse, the divine gifts. Either you aren't using, maximizing your divine gifts enough or someone around you is not. But I, it's this is your reading, Aquarius. I feel it's you. Ten of wands in reverse. Yeah, you're burdened about this. Whatever this loss here is that happened fast. Whatever this loss is happened really fucking fast. Uh, it's not in the future. It's not in the future. Spirit showing me it recently happened or it just happened. It happened fast, though. Caught you off guard. Something about your pentacles. It was your pentacles. And then love's confusing you. Maybe that's how they got your pentacles. This fucking backstabber motherfucker. 
giant fucking knife, dude. Killing birds. What the fuck? Okay. All right. So we're going to the Aquarian Tarot deck. Dick. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. This person whoever did that is a fucking dick. That's probably why that came out. They're a fucking dick. It's a masculine energy that did this. Maybe they're disguised as a feminine. Whoa, that just came to mind. You be careful, Aquarius. Aquarius, you're so smart. You're so beautiful. You, you are the star card in the divination deck. That's your card. Like, that's the energy of you, Aquarius. So you be careful. You attract a lot of attention. Don't be flashing around. You have money. Be careful. Something happened around pentacles. There's a three of pentacles in reverse, and then the five pentacles are a cherry in between. Loss. A, a five pentacles is also put out or feeling broke. Eight of cups lost, walking away from something like fuck. I just get this fuck energy, like, walking away from a burning bowl in the water. What the hell? Okay. All right, Spirit Guides Angel. Oh, you are going to be the ultimate victor, though. Okay, Aquarius? That's why I got this deck. Let's see what can help. You are going to be the ultimate victor, Aquarius. Whatever happened, put that behind you, move forward. Because you got the Ace of Pentacles. You got the Ace of Pentacles. You got the Happy Fool energy, Okay. Remember that this is rewards and blessings on your future. Gifts from the divine. Because you're, you have this happy, full energy. Someone stabbed you in the back. Fucking confusion. Look at all these. I just keep going back to this. Look at all these cups. Someone confused you. This seven of cups. They seven of swords you confused you. Seven, seven, dude. Seven, seven's a good number normally, but... This is saying this was, it was like a spiritual attack. It was like maybe someone's jealous of your spirituality. Maybe someone's jealous of love you have or used to have. I don't know, man. But yeah, you're feeling frustrated because either you're not being sexual enough. Yeah, I feel it. I feel like that's how spirit, whether you're masculine or feminine, I feel like someone's really frustrated because they're not able to be as sexual as they want. Aww. But something happened recently really fast with either relationship, love, or money. There's a fucking deceiver here, though. Deceit. Killing birds. Okay. Stop repeating. Ace of Pentacles again and victory. You have all these people that might be around you, but you, because of your inner strength, you're going to be the victor. Oh, my God. Ace of Pentacles twice. Yes, and nine of cups, because you emotionally fulfill yourself. You emotionally fulfill others. Yes, you do, you little water bearer. <laughs> you fucking magical spiritual water bearer. You fill your own cups. You fill other people's cups. By the way, what I learned about Aquarius is you guys are so funny. Like, really is funny. And, you know, guys, to be funny, you need to be really intelligent, really quick-witted. Aquarius are. Here's that damn seven of cups card again. Look, a fucking snake in there in one of the cups. Someone is trying to confuse you, create illusions, disillusionments, Aquarius. It's not a good person. It's a masculine energy. Could be disguised as a feminine. Or it's a very, very aggressive feminine. Dark fucking, okay? The Seven of Cups came out again. The world card. That's my card for the internet. So if you're wondering if someone is trying to create illusions and disillusionments to you on the line, Aquarius... Um, a fraudster or, or just someone who's not, who's like showing themselves in one way, but that's not really how they are. Listen to your intuition, your gut. This is truth. Okay. They, you are balanced. World card is also your balance. People see you online. Okay. Your accounts are up and coming. Yes, they do. Okay. So this seven of cups coming out though, again, be careful online. Five of Swords, yeah, you feel weary from battle. You feel a little defeated. But look, you're not defeated. You're still standing. Your swords are up. Like, you've got one sword down, two swords up. You can defend yourself. you got to watch your back. You've learned from whatever fucking made you feel defeated, okay? You're the ultimate victor. There's someone spying watching you. 
There's someone spying and watching and examining you. Oh, it's a queen of pentacles. Oh, ten of cups. They're watching you. A feminine or feminine energies are watching you. Okay, it's an upright queen of pentacles. It's a ten of cups. They really like you. They might even love you. I'm not sure who's watching you or how many, but Aquarius, they watch you. They like you. Aww. But there's like, there's like three of swords here. Heartbroken queen of swords because the star, oh, seven of swords. Yep, there's competition for, okay. So I feel like one feminine is feeling heartbroken over you. That's watching you, Aquarius. One feminine's feeling heartbroken over you. One feminine's feeling so in love with you. <laughs> well, they both love you. Wow, Aquarius, you have options. Um, take it how it resonates, guys. Let's say there's two feminine energies here. So, Aquarius, if you are the divine feminine and you're not gay, okay, you're not interested in another... Um, let me just say this. If you're a person that's not interested love-wise in feminine energies, then this is representing you. Um, maybe you're focusing too much on money instead of like action or into your mourning the loss of something. But no, I feel like, okay, I get what this is saying is, okay, this is what I'm getting, Aquarius, for real, how it came out. There's the Queen of Pentacles here who, which means stable, loving, uh, stylish, who has been watching you. Um, they think you're the Ten of Cups. There's also, though, someone heartbroken watching you. It's a Queen of Swords energy. Okay, but that means they're mourning the loss or you're mourning the loss of something or someone. Take it how it resonates, guys, okay? It's either you are mourning the loss of... So you're watching a Queen of Pentacles, or they're watching you, or both. And this is a stable person, a balanced person. They make their own money. They are stylish. I get this happy vibe, especially with the upright Ten of Cups. You are happy with, like, you like this person back. You both like each other. Yeah, see, they're watching you, <laughs> spying on you. But that can be for good or bad. It's good in this case. It's good for good examination. Because this Queen of Pentacles, look how beautiful and stylish, grounded, stable, loving, thinks about you lovingly, watches you, cares about you. Um, you both watch each other. That's what I'm getting out of this. It's upright. You both watch each other. You care about each other. Oh, that's so lovely. However, there is someone that's heartbroken here or some sort of heartbreak, whether it's you or someone else. And there it's like a queen of swords energy where it's like mourning or loss over something, something or someone. OK, and then under that is the star card. So I feel like they're mourning. They're upset about an Aquarius, about you. They're upset about that. To be honest, they can't have you. So there's here's the Seven of Swords card again. A deceiver, deceit. Someone is being a fuckhead, Aquarius. Someone who's in competition with you. Someone who's in competition with you. Someone who's in competition with you, Aquarius. Over a relationship. Over love. This is relationship card. Yes, it is. Wow. Okay, I want to get one more pull. Let's shuffle really good. Thank you, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and others. Okay. Watch your ass, Aquarius. Someone's jealous of you and your love. I get in feminine jealousy here, but I'm getting masculine jealousy here. So damn, Aquarius. People are watching you, Aquarius. You're good looking. You're good looking. You And you have a beautiful, happy, healing energy about your you're balanced. Uh, you got guardian angels watching you. You have romance here. Knowledge. Your knowledge of things is really impressive to someone or some people. Okay. 
What can help Aquarius? What else do you want Aquarius to know? Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and elders, thank you so much for this reading. I would like to get a colleague card for protection for Aquarius today. So let's do one more pull on this Aquarius, Aquarian tarot deck. Thank you so much for this information today. Beautiful reading. You are a loving king of cups or you have a loving king of cups around you, Aquarius. Aww. So romance department, you are, people see you, they want you. Okay. They know how loving you are and strong you are. Spiritual too. Yeah. King of cups on the bottom. You're so loving. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and elders. Thank you so much. What else? So this king of cups is a very, uh, Kind leader, too. Great job. Very spiritual healing energy. King of Cups also what represents a masculine Aquarius in the deck because it's a water energy. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. No, it's not. Sorry. <laughs> it's a water energy. My place. But you fill cups. You are the King of Cups, too. <laughs> you fill cups. And the, the, myth, the mythology I read earlier. Oh. What are the last messages, spirit guides, angels, ancestors, and elders? Thank you so much. Oh, that's a lot. Have inner strength. Have more inner strength. The future is bright. Things are going to work out. You want to travel maybe with a queen of wands, or you are a queen of wands that's balanced energy, creative energy. That's going to travel. The future is bright. Swords are down. Your future is bright. Okay, thank you for that message. I feel like spirit wants more. Future is bright. If you're worried about money, it's up and coming, especially because you do good things for other people, okay? I didn't mean to shake my head. No, you do other good things for other people. Your karma is so good, Aquarius, so don't worry about your pentacles. You got the ace of pentacles two times here. Blessings, rewards on your money. I feel because it's just you really are a good person. Someone's tried to fucking trick you or do something or someone's acting jealous or a weird way and you're getting good karma now. You're getting good karma now. <laughs> I'm shaking my head. No, this is stupid fuck. Okay, just be really careful, Aquarius, at this time. It's because people see you shining. Maybe people see you making money. Maybe people see you busy. Maybe that's what it is. Yeah, it's either someone who the reverse lovers card came out again. So you're so loving. You, I don't think you're not maximizing your sexuality or you're not having sex. Spirit just keeps wanting to say that. Maybe someone thinks you're having sex, but you're not. And so I don't know why they're tripping. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors, elders, any final message today? And then I'll get a colleague card. Thank you so much. What can help Aquarius? What can help Aquarius at this time? Oh. Well, damn, Aquarius. You got the Wheel of Fortune. Well, that'll help. <laughs> That's so awesome. Okay, so with the Three of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Three of Wands in reverse? Damn, what are you trying to tell me here? Don't be negative. Don't be negative, Aquarius. Stay positive. Your future is so bright. Doesn't have a reverse or upright, so you're starting out on a journey. So with it in the reverse, you're already on your journey. You're not starting out on a new journey. This is like a gate. You're not sure what's coming up in the future. You can't see the horizon. It can signify the opening of a new page, or it can indicate the person is running away from his responsibilities. Ha ha ha. So depending on the card next to it, check this out. You got the Wheel of Fortune upright with this card. And there, it, it doesn't matter whether it's in the reverse or not in the specific information I'm using today. This is fucking beautiful, Aquarius. You are going to have windfalls of money coming in your future. Keep your karma good. You're doing amazing, Aquarius. Fuck yeah. Will of Fortune card. So you're not sure what's going to happen in the future. Um, this is amazing. This is an opening now. 
for windfall of money for you, happiness, abundance, blessing. I feel like you're being so kind to people, certain people. Be careful, though. There's someone trying to stab you back, some sort of deceit, or maybe it already happened. Be careful with your heart. You are so forgiving, Aquarius. I, I know that about you. I've studied a lot about you now. Just protect your heart, okay? Love you, Aquarius. You got windfalls and money coming. Even though you can't see what's in the future, spirit knows what's in the future. Oh my God, dude, your ancestors, that's why you got your guardian angel here. You got good news and romance, divine timing. Be patient. They're telling if you're upset about love, be patient. Be patient. Okay, guys, it might cut out. I'm trying not to have it cut out. It might cut out, but let me see about pulling a Kali card. Kali, help us out here. Ooh, Krishna. That's a cool one. I'll have to look that up. Maybe I'll put that in the comments. Okay, Kali, let's get a Kali card for Aquarius. Aquarius, so protective energy, Kali card. Thank you so much. One Kali card today. Not that many. Because <laughs> I'm rushing. Spirit's like, it's because you're rushing. Okay, this one. Yeah. Okay, Kadga. Ooh. Okay, if it cuts out, I apologize, guy, and I love you, Aquarius. Thank you for all the comments, subscriptions, and, and uh, your likes. I really appreciate it, guys. It helps the algorithm, helps the messages get out. I love you. Number nine. Nine is a good number. Hell yeah, energy flow. And uh, some people might be a life path number nine. Check that out, your life path with your birthday online. Okay, I'm a life path number nine. It's a hard... But some of you might be, some of you might not be. <clears throat> okay, Kadga. She wields the holy sword of divine severance, empowering the soul and radical letting go. Let go of those things you don't need in your life, okay? Especially if they're bad, toxic people giving you bad advice. She instills the courage to bear the pain of loss and the wisdom to re realize the secret blessing that can only arise when we embrace change, so embrace change at this time in your life. Where our strength of will may falter, she intervenes to ensure we do not sabotage our ultimate fulfillment and spiritual progress. She will not allow our souls to be ensnared in any kind of deception or trapped in fear. She is the liberator and her sword clears the path, revealing the truth. Cool. Kali's protecting your will of fortune. Your Two times Ace of Pentacles, this good news, romance, divine timing, your future with knowledge, okay? And she's going to protect you and help reveal who these sick fuckers are or person, okay? So just be careful, Aquarius. You are doing great. I'm so happy for you, Aquarius. Have the most lovely day and weekend. And thanks for being here with me. I love you guys. I love you, Aquarius. You guys are so magical, beautiful. Thanks for being here. Hope you enjoyed the reading. See you next time.